my name is Steph just in case you are new here and today we are doing a homemaking day in the life vlog. I am just here in my bathroom finishing up doing my hair and I thought I would tell you what to expect from this video, what we've got going on. So today is definitely a homemaking day for me. I've been dividing my week up as sort of more homemaking days and uh, more computer sort of days, um, like doing social media stuff and YouTube stuff and all of that. So today is a homemaking day, as is tomorrow. So we've got some cleaning to do. I want to clean actually this room that I'm in, our ensuite. Um, also, what else do I want to do? I want to make some pumpkin spice sauce, like copycat. Um, Starbucks sauce um, That's something I want to do because <laughs> it's confusing but here in Australia we get all the pumpkin spice lattes and stuff at Starbucks In September the same time that America and I'm assuming Canada and other places get it and it's It's confusing because you know, it's spring here. We've just started spring, but <laughs> Nonetheless, this is when we get it and it's delicious and I love pumpkin spice everything, honestly. So, um, yeah, I can't keep going to Starbucks every single day because that would get very expensive. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and make a copycat pumpkin spice sauce, all that to say. And yeah, we're just gonna do a bit of cleaning, maybe go for a walk or do some like geocaching. We are still in lockdown here in Melbourne. So we've been in lockdown, I think for over a month now <laughs> and we're definitely getting a little bit stir crazy. So I'm trying to find ways that we can, you know, get out of the house, but still be obeying all of the rules and all of that kind of thing. So yeah. Now that I've done, finished my hair, I just need to put a bit of hairspray in it and we're good to go, I think. So I think first up, we'll be tidying up our bedroom because I feel like the bedroom is one of those rooms for me where if it's tidy, I feel like everything else is way more tidy than it actually is. <laughs> and I don't know if that's just me where you have certain rooms that just make you feel better when they're tidy. But for me, one of those rooms is definitely our bedroom. So I'm going to tidy that up first. <laughs> I would show you my outfit for today. I'm still very new at this, but I've been kind of freshly getting into fashion a little bit. Not like fashion. I don't know. I feel like saying I'm getting into fashion has this like weird connotation to it. I'm just enjoying clothing again, which I've always enjoyed clothing, but about five years ago, I put on weight and there was a couple years there where I just really was super uncomfortable with my body and how I looked and didn't really know how to dress <laughs> and I'm still very much figuring it out but that's I guess the difference I am actually now trying to figure it out and actually letting myself buy some clothing that I like and that I feel good in <sighs> which is difficult because for a while there I was like no I'm gonna lose the weight so I'm not gonna buy new clothes because I'm gonna fit in my old clothes or like I don't want to buy new clothes and then not fit them anymore but that honestly meant that I spent like three years hating everything I owned hating what I was wearing it was not a good time so all of that to be said I started buying some clothes and these are just jeans from Kmart these are nothing like crazy incredible they're actually technically the jeggings the $15 jeggings from Kmart they don't have the zip and button which is 
so much more comfortable in my opinion especially if you have any kind of stomach um but even if you don't they're just so much more comfortable you don't get that like button zip like digging in situation happening so highly recommend they they don't last a super long time i do kind of find i need to replace them kind of every year because they are quite stretchy so they do stretch out but that being said they're 15 dollars, so that's not so bad and they come in so many different colors it's ridiculous but anyway um this shirt is new and i love it <laughs> so i just placed an order through shein and well i say just a few weeks ago um and the shipping did take a little while, which is fine because it was really cheap shipping. And yeah, I, I got some money for my birthday from my parents. That was their birthday gift, especially because we're in lockdown. Um, and my birthday was in August while we were in lockdown. Um, yeah, so I bought some clothes and this is one of the tops that I got and I love it. It's super flowy, super comfortable. I feel like it's very flattering. It hides the stomach. It's a really pretty color. My best tip with buying from Shein, this is obviously my first time, but it's something that I did that I think saved my butt. <laughs> and that was paying attention to the size measurements because the sizing is quite inconsistent across the entire app or website. Um, it's very inconsistent, so I ordered a different size in almost everything that I got, but the measurements for each size on each item are pretty dang accurate. So I took my measurements beforehand and then just compared me my measurements to each size and got whichever size fit my measurements. So sometimes that was a medium, sometimes that was an extra large, it was, it was crazy, but... Yeah, if you pay attention to the sizing and actually look at the measurements, you'll be okay. That's my tip. Anyway, this was a lot more than I anticipated talking about my clothing and my outfit, but I just really like this top. It's honestly probably the favorite, my favorite thing out of everything I ordered. So yeah, moving on. Fickle heart, where would I be if it weren't for your grace, your strength? Faithful is your mighty hand, drawing me close with your tender kindness. Your so I've given garden updates on Instagram, but I don't know if I've given them on here. So this is our plum tree and it has exploded. Oh, look at all the flowers. There's going to be so many plums. We definitely need to get a net for this tree <laughs> for sure. Cause um, when we originally moved into this tree, <laughs> moved into this tree when we originally moved into this house there was a lot of plums on this tree and a lot of plums on the ground and the birds had eaten most of them so definitely gonna need to get a net for this tree if we want to actually eat some of the plums and then this tree oh look at that there's some green on that finally we gave these garden beds a bit of an overhaul I need to put all of this in the bin still our green bin was full <laughs> um this is our little lemon tree which needs fertilizing quite badly and we pulled a really big old rosemary plant out of here and we like tidied up at this level so that there's more sun that will hit these garden beds and we're gonna grab some plants whenever we can. I mean, it's hard because we can't go in store to Bunnings at the moment, which is our like home improvement store. So it's about a week into September at the moment. I'm hoping to buy some plants, like small plants, rather than starting things from seed this year. I just did not have the capacity for that. I'm hoping to buy some plants and get them in the ground, like end of September, start of October is my goal. So we've cleaned all of this out, which is really nice. <laughs> it's so much more open, but this 
this has been a puzzle for us. We just have not known what it was. When we moved in, there was leaves on it, but that was it. But it does sort of seem like, considering it's in these beds, it seems like it must be some kind of fruiting plant, we assume. So, or fruiting tree, I should say, but I guess we'll find out now that it's finally starting to bloom a little bit. There's lots of little green buds all over it, so. Okay, so I'm gonna do the dining table. It's just really needs a wipe down and a shake out and all that kind of stuff. And I think I'm gonna put a tablecloth back on it because our table is pretty dang beat up. It always looks nicer with a tablecloth on it, but that's okay, because it was free. <laughs> and I'm also gonna hang up, I don't know if you can see it, this. I'll show you what it is in a minute, I'm really excited. summer in a ziplock bag old maps and tchotchkes photographs said this and that i'll write myself a letter so that i'll remember all what if i don't hold on to this red string can't retrace my old steps the songs i used to sing if the birds I'll eat my breadcrumbs, how will I know who I was? Call me the sentimental type, nostalgic, but I have to prove that I was here. What if I forget that I was here? I can't forget that I was here. it's just wet it looks really really dirty but it's just because I wiped a spot off it will dry um, otherwise we're a bit wrinkly but much better honestly it's super easy to feel embarrassed about the, those kinds of spots in my house that are really clearly not perfect they look okay we're happy with them but they're really not perfect and I feel like a lot of what's shown on YouTube sometimes and Instagram and social media in general is things that are perfect. So if you have a wrinkled tablecloth, know that you are not alone. We also have a wrinkled tablecloth. We also... <laughs> struggling to talk. We also have spots on our table runners. Me. This is the amount of cat fur that gets on our carpet after a couple of days. I literally vacuum more than once a week, but they play fight and still shopping bags and um when they play fight fur ends up on the ground
That's cute. Hi. <laughs> Super bad lighting, but these are the flowers that Matt got me. I'm just really hoping that the cats don't mess with them. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. I love natives. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We are off on a walk, just a really short one. You're gonna walk Ooh. into a plant. It's super weird that it's like just getting dark now at 6.30 as opposed to 5 p.m. <sighs> the start of spring always just weirds me out, time-wise. Does it weird you out? Yes, yes it does. <sighs> nice <laughs> night though. Good morning! It's Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> um, showing you today's outfit because this is another Shein purchase that I'm loving. When I pulled it out of the packaging, I was a little unsure about the length. Um, excuse my slippers. <laughs> I was a little unsure about the length, but I put it on and I actually kind of love it because it's it's long and I really like long dresses because it just they're flowy and they just feel good but it still kind of gives you that like foot freedom if that makes sense and it's got a tie at the waist which I was also a bit unsure about because I usually prefer things to cinch up higher I feel like that's more flattering on me but this seems to be still quite flattering. I do get a little self-conscious about where it hits here. Um, obviously I need to make the bed. <laughs> yeah, but I actually just really like this dress. It's super comfortable. This is what I would refer to as the jeans and t-shirt of dresses. You throw it on, you don't need any like, um, like tank top underneath it. It's high up. It's long enough you don't need anything extra you just throw it on and go it's su super comfortable fabric so i'm really really digging my shein finds they've been really really good guys i'm so unmotivated today it's ridiculous but like the kind of unmotivated that leads me to procrastinating like I'm kind of unmotivated, I think, at some point on most days, which is why I talk about discipline over motivation so much. But this is the kind of unmotivated where I just sit and just sit and scroll or just get distracted and... I think I'm going to go unload the dishes. I'm trying to view putting the clean dishes away um trying to view it as like a um unloading the dishwasher sort of situation and i'm gonna put that away we're gonna tidy the couch first yeah i'm trying to view it as like an unloading the dishwasher sort of situation even though we don't have a dishwasher we wash all our dishes by hand <laughs> which we don't we don't always enjoy but it's not our house and we love the house so it's worth it but i'm trying to view it that way so i do it every morning because matt is awesome and he does the dishes in the evening but yeah i just feel like putting the dishes away is not a hard thing it's not something that i mind doing and it really helps with the process of um, doing the dishes in the evening. So I'm gonna do that. <sighs> I'm gonna like force myself to get up. But this is why I love doing things like making the bed because I'll just catch a glimpse of it out of the corner of my eye and it just makes me so happy when things are tidy, you know?
ready for some real life? Our ensuite is a mess. <laughs> and frankly, I put off cleaning it. We're so lazy when it comes to the ensuite. It's really bad. It's something I really want to work on. But for now, we're going to at least just get it clean. Apparently, I'm not the only one in a cleaning mood. So cute. Ugh, I cannot. Do you ever start cleaning something thinking you're just gonna do like, not the bare minimum, but like a basic clean and then all of a sudden you're basically spring cleaning? Because that's kind of what's happened to me with this ensuite. I was just gonna like wipe the counters and clean the toilet and that was gonna be it. Um, that's not what's happened. Lots and lots of rubbish, old products that needed to be thrown out. This is all clean. This needs to go and get like properly washed in the kitchen. I still need to clean all of this. I'm even contemplating doing the shower, but I don't think I have the energy for that, to be honest. But I do need to shower later, so maybe I'll just do it when I shower. But yeah, we've been like proper cleaning. Like I've reorganized and cleaned all this, gotten rid of the, um, this was here before. The only other thing I need to do, which I'm not gonna to do today, is reorganize all of the cupboards because I don't even know what's in most of these drawers. <laughs> okay, I still need to do the floors, but other than that, we're looking nice and clean. Woo! I can't, I just, it's the paw for me and the sparky glaring at me like, shut up, I'm sleeping. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make some pumpkin spice sauce, which is essentially what they use at Starbucks, or so it seems, <laughs> to make pumpkin spice frappuccinos and everything else under the sun. So. Um, first we need to make a simple syrup. I'm using a recipe from Pinterest. I will link it in the description if it actually turns out well, which <laughs> you'll find out very soon. Um, I always try and make my description useful, so definitely check there for links when you're watching my videos. But starting with half a cup of sugar, I'm using raw sugar because that's what we have and then adding in half a cup of water, putting the heat on. And then I think you just combine these over medium heat until the sugar is dissolved and then you bring it to a boil. And then we turn the heat down to low and we'll be adding pumpkin puree, sweetened condensed milk, pumpkin pie spice and salt. So I've made some pumpkin pie spice 
here because we cannot buy that <laughs> here in Australia. So, and I've also got some pumpkin puree, which is actually Best Buy this month. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously that's Best Buy and not used by, but I really need to make a lot more pumpkin things and freeze them because I've got so many cans of this. Costco comes out with this once a year here in Australia generally, and that's normally in October because, you know, Halloween and Thanksgiving is coming up. And I mean, Thanksgiving's November, so, you know, there's that, but anyway. Um, yeah, they only sell the big cans, which I now kind of wish <laughs> was different. Um, so I'm going to get a can opener and I will get this opening while I wait for that to melt. Okay, so it's all melted and it is coming to a boil. So I'm just going to turn that down to low. Now we add the pumpkin puree. So now I'm adding some sweetened condensed milk. Okay, excuse me, I have just moved elements because quite honestly, the one I was on was making some weird noises and smelling a lot like gas. It was still on, but it smelled way more like gas than it should. As you can tell, it's a bit of an older stove top. <laughs> so I don't know what that was about. I might have to get Matt to check that out. And now we add the pumpkin pie spice and the salt. So we need half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. If you're in Australia and you need to make your own um, pumpkin pie spice, I will put a link in the description of this video to the pin that I used. It's essentially a combination of cinnamon, nutmeg, ground ginger, and allspice. And the pumpkin puree, obviously I bought at Costco, but you can make your own if you don't want it to be too complicated. I would say just buy the pre-chopped pumpkin from like Woolies or Coles, the grocery store, and then just cook it in boiling water and mash it like you would potato. That's all you need to do to make it. Obviously you can buy a lot of pumpkin and you can chop it up and all that but if you're wanting it to be super easy about as easy as it's gonna get is just buying the pre-chopped pumpkin and dumping that in some water to boil I really need to tighten the handle on this pot oh my goodness okay so the sauce is getting nice and thin now it was a little lumpy before because of the pumpkin puree but that has all mixed out so I'm gonna turn off the heat and it says to just let it cool and you can store it in a jar in your refrigerator. Okay, Matt's going to make the frappe. So according to a completely separate pin that I found on Pinterest, it says that a frappe is made up of a cup of ice, three quarters of a cup of milk, clearly we're low on ice, Sorry. And then about three tablespoons of the pumpkin pie syrup. So I put a little bit in a cup and put it in the fridge just to kind of cool it down quickly. <laughs> I hope it's enough. But I don't see why it wouldn't be. You can always add more in. Yeah, true. Okay, I'm gonna taste it before we add anything else. Yeah, that, 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 that's not enough. Three tablespoons is not enough of this stuff. We'll add more. Okay, here it is. This has six tablespoons of the pumpkin sauce in it. I would say it probably needs closer to eight or nine but this is perfectly drinkable, so I'm just gonna drink it the way it is. I think reviewing the recipe, I think I would add a little bit more pumpkin spice. So I will put the 
correct measurements in the description of what I would personally do, I wouldn't follow the recipe exactly. So I'll write it in the description. Check the description if you want to make this yourself. It's delicious. It's like, it's really good, even as it is. So definitely recommend. Well, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this kind of random day in the life in lockdown, I guess. Um, yeah. There was a couple things that I didn't get done that I wanted to get done that I think I'll include in another video. Um, I want to start spring cleaning. I kind of started today with the ensuite, but yeah, I'm going to make like a checklist sort of thing for myself, I think. So I might include that in another video. Um, yeah, but if you enjoyed this video or you enjoy any kind of homemaking content, definitely hit the red subscribe button down below. I am very excited. I think I may have mentioned that earlier in the video. I don't remember, but I'm very excited about the videos I've got coming out. The next video will be either an evening routine or a morning routine. So let me know down in the comments below which one you would like to see first and then whichever one I don't post will be posted the next week. I'm doing kind of an unintentional spring series, I think. So yeah, thank you as always for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.